will only cost me $9.99. Okay, I'll take two, no, three of them. Hi, um, don't you want to know more about this before buying? Um, hi, what's left to know? It's trendy, it's made of pure cotton, and it's cheap, so yes, I want it. Well, actually, the price of this sweater is much higher than you think. And the ones paying the most are innocent kids. Child labor? No, this is a global brand, that's impossible. I wish it worked like that, but here's the ugly truth. You see, fashion brands are still using child labor. And the scale of this problem is, is horrifying. Over 160 million kids are sacrificing their health, their education, in the production of tempting sweaters for consumers like you and me. 160 million? That cannot be true. How would the companies hide it from us? Your beautiful sweater can help us find the truth. May I? Thank you. Look, this one proudly states that it's 100% cotton. But where do the retail brands get their cotton from? I don't know. Let me show you something. As you can see, developing countries produce a vast majority of cotton. And fashion brands take advantage of this. It's a no-brainer why. Well, probably because the labor and the raw materials are much cheaper there. Exactly. And what makes it so cheap? Very often, illegal child labor. In India alone, the majority of children workers ranges from 20 to 120 million children. Hold on, so is it 20 or 120 million? That's the problem. Not the government, not the local NGOs, not even the trade unions know the exact figure. Please, now see with your own eyes how horrible this is. While harvesting cotton with bare hands, kids are forced to inhale and touch toxic pesticides. They could easily be beaten if they made a mistake. Throughout ginning process, children work around heavy machinery, often injuring themselves or even losing their hands. In Uzbekistan, up to two million children are forced to work during the cotton harvesting season. But what will shock you even more? These practices are organized by the state. They close schools for three months and make children pick cotton for long hours, having no meal and drinking only ditch water. That's just inhumane. Do fashion brands just turn their eyes blind to this? Yes and no. You see, it is very convenient for big companies to deny awareness of who really made their clothes. I mean, until some scandal happens that reveals the true cost. And after all these countless scandals, the largest fashion brands still don't score more than 80% on the Fashion Transparency Index. Meaning no one, not even the big names such as Zara, H&M or Gap, publicly share where they get all their materials from. Unless these companies disclose all their suppliers and monitor them closely, we cannot be sure if child labor wasn't used in the process. Knowing all this, I want you to take a look at the label of your sweater once again and realize the hell these children go through. One hundred percent cotton made in Cambodia by Benley, nine years old. He gets up at 5 a.m. every morning to make his way to the garment factory where he works. It will be dark when he arrives and dark when he leaves. He dresses lightly because the temperature in the room he works in reaches 90 degrees. The dust in the room fills his nose and mouth. He will make less than a dollar for a day spent slowly suffocating. The thing is that these labels don't even tell the whole story. You know, there are millions of boys and girls like Benley 
whose stories we might never hear. I feel helpless. What can I do? It's a global issue which cannot be solved right away. But there is something we all can do to help. Let's be realists. Shopping is a big part of our lives. And not everyone can afford to buy pricey things. However, we can shop in a smart way. First, know what you're buying. You can check the company's transparency status, or you can download a simple app. As you can see, it has all the necessary data and information that you need to see how the companies are treating their employees. Also, the Fairware Foundation that has over 135 brands that do not allow child labor. Accredited brands must ensure regular checkups of their suppliers to make sure they meet these standards. And secondly, be a conscious user and buyer. It's simple, buy less, wear longer. We shouldn't encourage these crazily short production cycles that try to feed us with trendy clothes every single week. And thirdly, spreading awareness of this problem is a small step everyone can take. These kids don't have a voice, but you, the consumer, can be their voice.